hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel today I'm going to show you what I call the mother of all antenna tuners this is a homemade uh, antenna tuner somebody took the time and put all these things together and believe me he did an amazing amazing job this um, it's not very heavy, but uh, it's quite big and bulky. Uh, it is about 16 inches wide uh, from side to side, eight inches tall and about uh, 12 and a half inches deep. Um, this baby can do hmm, from, uh, it can tune any antenna from 160 meters all the way to six meters. And uh, even if you, connect the fork at the back it will tune it the fork as well it can take easily up to two kilowatts two kilowatts easily it has a uh, SWR uh, meter a, a reflected power meter that works I'm going to demonstrate uh, in a minute uh, we have the band selector here uh, you can here actually have an antenna connected so there is nothing right now but when I switch to the wire antenna even though I'm connected here I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here and this is the 450 ohm antenna uh, I have a little piece of uh, 450 ohm uh, wire this is it this is how it looks like and it will connect in the back uh, for your dipole. I'll show you in a minute. So back to the antenna selector. This is your 450 ohm uh, selection. Your uh, wire antenna. If you have a long wire. Right now I have uh, about 50 or 60 feet of a uh, long wire connected to it. But uh, we're not going to be using this uh, antenna. We will use the G5 RV antenna. Over here, you have uh, a roller inductor with a meter. When was the last time that you saw something like this? Tell me. And we have a crank here, and we adjust. This is good if you're working in a band. Let's say uh, you're at 40 meters, and you bring it, let's say, to 423. You make a note of that. So if you want to go back to another band, and this other band is, let's say, resonates, uh, tunes in, at, let's say, at uh, 238. So there's your 238. Then you go back to 240. When you come back to this other band, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, everything is manual. Uh, no electronics, no buttons, no nothing automatic. And uh, there's not going to be a link in the description for this because there's no way you can find uh, this for sale anywhere in Amazon or uh, eBay or anywhere. I don't know. This is a homemade uh, antenna tuner. So no link in the description, guys. All right, let's uh, turn it around and I will show you the back. Okay, and we are looking at the back. We are looking at the back. So as you saw, there is a, a three antenna selector. And guess what? There is an option for a fourth antenna. Hmm, what kind of an antenna could that be? Like you already have three. Why would you need a fourth anyway? So uh, here's your regular connector here. You can connect a vertical, a mobile antenna, um, a fork anything it will tune it here is your uh, long wire uh, connection you unscrew here and you just wrap the wire around and you tie it and there is your long wire here we have the ground connection nice uh, here we have the balanced feeders this is for a dipole or if you want to connect uh, to a 450 ohm uh, wire first and this is your transmit this goes to your uh, radio 
pretty straightforward. Okay, so now I have uh, opened up the uh, cover and we will jump in and we will go straight into the label. Uh, Ultimate X Match. I don't remember if how they, this is the name of the tuner. Uh, this is from uh, Ham Radio Magazine uh, 1979 edition from page 19 and 8, uh, 75 and 77, page 584 with a deviation from the design. The capacitor one is 147 pico farads. And this is how it looks inside, guys. We have a double decker variable. Beautiful construction. Here is your uh, inductor with the roller. And that's why you don't have a band selector because here you can go pretty much anywhere. You do not need a band selector for the, for the band. Like you don't need to select uh, 10 meters, 20 meters, 40 meters, and so on and so on. Here is your uh, output uh, variable. Beautifully made. Your three antennas, your dipole, your long wire, and the coax. Ballon. Hmm. Beautiful. And here is your uh, antenna selector. If we go back in here. Beautiful. Cannot get more old school than this, guys. Beautiful. All right. Uh, this is it. As I said, uh, there's nothing automatic. Uh, no buttons to press. It can do easily up to two kilowatts. And uh, it can tune basically anything. Even a fork, as my good friend said. So... Uh, I connected the antenna back and you can hear that the sound, uh, the noise changes. And this is, this is how you can tune it. Obviously you need a, an SWR meter, you can, you can use this one. This is a little bit tricky. Uh, I need to spend some time to learn how to use it. Uh, but for now and for uh, to demonstrate, I'm just using a, an antenna which is going by ear and you can see, let me open it here again. See how the noise is getting louder and louder? So we're almost there. And you can bring it more from here and from the output. This is for the very fine tuning. Let me put the volume down. Yeah, so this is it guys. 100% manual. <laughs> no electricity, nothing uh, automatic, no buttons, no nothing. 100% old school. And uh, as I mentioned before, there is not going to be a link in the description. Uh, simply because I don't know if there is another one like this. Uh, I'm sure there is homemade uh, antenna tuners out there somewhere. If you know something, if you want to comment, feel free. All comments are um, welcome, good and bad. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I uh, will see you next time. Bye.